when students are telling you, well, it's uncomfortable when you talk about it, that's why we need to talk about it, is because to them it's uncomfortable. To me, it's my entire life. By opening up dialogues and by being comfortable in discussing things, by kind of breaking barriers and saying, hey, I know it's uncomfortable, but the more we talk about it, and the more we normalize it in a sense, um, the more we can get done with it. Because as I'm seeing currently with discussions, especially when it comes to bathrooms and locker rooms, um, one thing that makes it uncomfortable to discuss is how, I'm trying to think of how to say it, not normal, it seems. How, oh, it's not normal to have a girl in the boys' room. Oh, it's not normal to have a boy in the girls' room. And it's not normal for people to be doing this. When you actively can go out and say, hey, listen, I am a normal teenager. I do things that every other teenager does. I am more than just this, or I am more than just that. When you can talk to them about it and say, hey, I'm comfortable this way. You kind of normalize it because people are saying, hey, it's not something I'm reading about in the news anymore. It's not some Supreme Court case. It's happening actively right here, especially in Exeter, in our county. It's happening everywhere. Every school is going to be dealing with this eventually if they're not already dealing with it. The more that we can have normal discussions about it and not pit anyone against each other, and the more that it is socially acceptable to discuss it in a um, very unbiased or very unpolitical way, the more friendly the topic gets, the easier it is to discuss it and look at it in kind of an objective nature. From one standpoint, you can never really get a sense of the full picture. And when you never get a sense of the full picture, things are never going to be done. You're going to have misinformation spreading. You're going to have, you know, the comfort and ultimately the safety of certain students at risk. If we are able to just be happy in our own skins, even if we have to change, you know, our name, or if we have to change, you know, our haircut or our outfit or just how we speak or, you know, the different social norms that are associated with gender, if we come in to accept ourselves in that aspect, that's all we want is just to do what makes us most comfortable without hurting anybody. I, I hardly believe that using the right bathroom or the right locker room will ever hurt anybody. Uh, I have no desire to hurt anybody else. If I'm doing something that makes me comfortable and no one else is getting physically harmed, if I'm not insulting anybody, then I don't see what the problem is.